Hello YouTubers. So if you get into um, gold recovery from electronic scrap like I am, you're going to hear a phrase from time to time. And that is telecom grade equipment or telecom grade boards. And a lot of people are confused about what that means versus, you know, the kind of consumer grade equipment that's so easy to come by, like old scrapped uh, desktop PCs and, and home routers and switches and things like that. Well, I lucked into some telecom grade equipment here, and I'm going to show you what makes it so much better for gold recovery than your standard consumer grade stuff. Um, this is a large switch, or the remains of one. It was in a big steel cabinet. I've, I've junked the cabinet and pulled everything valuable out of it. But uh, this was a, a large um, commercial switch unit. I'm not going to tell you the name. you probably figure it out, some of you tech-savvy ones, just by looking at it. But I don't want to advertise anybody or irritate anybody. So, But uh, a large commercial-grade switch that could handle um, you know, an entire business, high-speed data. It had both um, high-speed uh, um, Ethernet and high-speed... Um, optical inter connectivity, high-speed internet and op high-speed optical connectivity. It had triple redundant power supplies. So, you know, hot swappable, power supply fails, you just pull one out, push another one in, and, uh, you know, one power supply fails, you still got the other two that are keeping it going, so, you know, it's enterprise-grade stuff. It's, there's zero downtime, basically. Everything's modular. If a, if a piece were to fail, you just pop that piece out and pop a new one in. Some of it hot swappable, some of it not. Uh, had its own dedicated computer up here running it all on its own, own board up here. So this is pretty, uh, pretty fancy schmancy stuff here. But what really makes it so much better for gold recovery is just the amount of gold that you find in telecom grade stuff. I mean, look at this board right here. Now this board right here um, it's got a lot of flat pack IC chips on it, and all those IC chips have gold in them for the, in the bond wires. Better yet, it's got a lot of flat pack chips on the other side too. And I don't know how well it's showing up, but look at all the gold plating on there. The board is just covered in gold plating. There's just a whole lot of gold plating on that board. You know, it, it improves the reliability of this kind of equipment to plate it in gold. Gold doesn't tarnish, you know, it doesn't corrode, and it, it makes much better electrical connections. So there's a lot of gold on this board, both on the board itself and, you know, you can see the gold plating on both sides of the board. So as well as all the flat packs, the board itself is just coated with gold. Plus, we got three power connectors, since we had triple redundant power supply, heavily plated in gold got lots of uh, edge connectors on this thing they're all plated in gold although you can't see it inside the plastic but the back plane that these cards plugged into look at it thousands and thousands of gold plated pins on this thing on both sides there were a bunch of daughter boards there they are that plugged into uh this side of the board and then all these other boards plugged into this side so there's a lot of gold there and then look at the power supplies got three power supplies I don't know how well this is going to show up in this light Let me put it out here focus focus now well, it doesn't want to focus there it goes kinda but this is really really heavy this connector is really really heavy metal connector heavily plated in gold and not just on the mating surface here all the way around the back and down through the board it's all plated in gold so there's a lot of gold there now before we get too excited about that remember that scrap is the lowest value of anything so before you if you run stumble into some of this kind of telecom equipment Look and see if you can sell any of these uh, any of these modules. You know, power supply modules, any of these individual cards. You know, there might be a demand for them. You know, the daughter boards. Now, I've looked all this stuff up, and the only parts I can probably sell, or possibly, I should say, not probably, are the power supplies 
and the daughter cards and I, over there and the little ones and I'm not even really enthusiastic about them because they don't seem to be moving all that well I think the hot swap power supplies would probably have a better chance of selling and if I could manage to sell all the three of these you know for like 20 25 bucks that's gonna pay for the rest of this then all the gold I get is just pure profit but even if I can't sell them I expect I'd get enough gold out of all this to pay a couple times over for what I paid for this old switch um, it was in a scrap yard outdoors getting rained on all dusty you know so I didn't have to dicker with the guy too much he knew he couldn't he couldn't charge me for too much for it so I got it fairly cheap um, taking it all apart didn't take long and um, I could ship it home much easier in these pieces than I could as, as the big in the big steel cabinet so that's what I did I, I bought this out west in Albuquerque by the way and I'm back home in Florida with it now um, I loved flying southwest because uh, you know you could you can have two two suitcases for fly for free with you so most of this came home in my suitcases so for free that was great I did ship part of it home but I shipped a bunch of other stuff home from out west too so the shipping cost is actually minimal most of it came home in my suitcases but uh, anyway so you know you've got all these gold pins you have got all these connectors with gold um, the boards have a lot of gold on them uh, these other boards they're only single-sided but they have a lot of gold plating on them too and uh, they still have a lot of flat packs uh, there's some uh, gold corner green fiber chips so they have gold in them too um, I'm not even sure what's under what these chips are some sort of specialty chips but there's probably gold in them so I've got a couple of these these are the um, the high-speed optical interface boards right here each one has a couple of fiber optic ports on it and uh, probably the least valuable board of them all is the uh, is the main computer board it's pretty old even the uh, RAM sticks aren't gold plated on it, but uh, you know there's there's some flat packs there. They'll have gold in them. Uh, no real gold plating on the board. They got a little cheap with the with the uh, main control computer part of it, but you know there is some gold to be had there. So, but between all these boards, I would expect to get you know several grams of gold, and that would easily pay for everything, especially you know the way I extract gold from stuff. It's it's as inexpensive as possible with cheap chemicals and processes so uh, you know it's just I'm gonna have to uh, put a little bit of effort into it to uh, you know cut the boards up a little bit to process them you know first I'll depopulate all of the uh, the flat pack chips off of them I can do that in my kiln just put the boards in there heat the heat the kiln up above the melting point of solder and all the chips will just fall right off the boards they're not through hole they're just uh, surface mount so they'll all just fall right off the board and uh, you know I'll have a I'll have a ceramic uh, dish down there to catch them all and uh, then I can process those you know run them through my foundry to uh, pyrolyze them crush them up and then uh, you know extract the gold from them just like I do see my other videos on how I do that this what I'll probably do is uh, you know cut the board up into pieces with my bandsaw get rid of most of the uh, most of the useless green part of the board and then just uh, dissolve the uh, the base metal of the pins in AP solution and then recover the gold um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the big blue connectors yet these are the ones that make the to the power supplies the triple redundant power supplies and they've got you know heavy gold plating inside them too so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to recover that yet but there's a lot of gold there I'm not going to let it go to waste and uh, so anyway, that's that's kind of an overview of uh, what telecom grade equipment is versus you know consumer grade equipment. If you if you open up like a, a, an average desktop PC or laptop PC and you look at the the guts of it, you're not going to see anything like this. You know, it, it takes a lot of desktop PCs, a lot of laptop PCs, to equal the amount of gold that you're going to find in one decent piece of telecom equipment like this is. So keep your eyes open for the good stuff, you know, uh, go to a lot of auctions, um, sometimes you can buy like a pallet load of this stuff really dirt cheap. Um, 
keep an eye open, you know, if you're not above dumpster diving. When, if you see an open top dumpster outside of an old um, data center or IT place or something where they're, they're obviously either moved out or gone out of business or they're um, rehabbing the place, you know, a lot of this stuff winds up in the dumpster. It's just, it's usually too old for resale. And um, the people who are doing the demolition don't know what it is. They just throw it all in dumpster. So if you're not above dumpster diving, sometimes you can find this stuff for free. But definitely keep your eyes open for the telecom grade stuff, the higher grade stuff, because your gold yield will be a lot higher. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.